All right, today I'm going to show you how to connect to Trello using the coefficient add-on. If you do not have the coefficient add-on, go to extensions, add-ons, get add-on, and then search for coefficient in the add-on store. Once you have it installed, we're going to go ahead and launch that by going to extensions, coefficient, and launch. And then we'll wait for the sidebar to open. Once the sidebar is open, we'll click on import from. And then we're going to find Trello. So it'll be likely under the suggested sources. If you not see it there, go ahead and scroll to the bottom, click on see all sources. And then this is sorted alphabetically and you can find Trello right down here. We're going to go ahead and click on connect. And the first thing we need is an access token. If you do not have that already, go ahead and click here where it says click here. And this will bring you to Trello. If you've not logged in, it'll ask you to log in. Once you're logged in, you can come down here and click on allow. And then we want to copy and paste this authorization token. So we're going to go ahead and right click and copy, close this window, and then we're going to paste it in here. Once that is done, we're going to go ahead and click on connect. And then we're going to go ahead and click on start from scratch to start our import settings. All right, so if we have this open, you can see we have different options here, workspaces, lit, boards, and cards. To give you an idea of the hierarchy here, so for cards and lists, we need a board ID. And for a board, we need the workspace ID. So workspace is the overarching, the overarching hierarchy in this. So workspaces underneath workspaces is boards, underneath boards is cards and lists. So you can get this from Trello or we can get it right here. If we go get workspaces, we'll click preview. And then we can scroll through all this we like, or we can just select all. And then we just need to get the name here. And so if you don't know from the name which one you need, you can go back and add, for example, the display name and so forth. But once you have the correct name, we'll go ahead and copy that. And we'll go back and we'll get our boards. So we'll paste in that workspace ID. And then we can see that we have one board here. And so what we're going to need on this is called the short link. And so if we hover on that, you can see it brings us here. So we can copy this one. And now we can go back. Now we can get our cards or lists. So start with our list real quick. And we'll throw in that board ID. Click on preview. And now you can see each of those lists. And so for today, let's go back here and we'll get cards in a board. And again, we'll use that same board ID. Click on preview. And then there we go. This is what we're going to bring through. So you can select or deselect what columns you want to bring back. So if you select all, then it'll bring all of them. So we can get rid of some of these we like. And then once you're satisfied with columns you want, you can do a limit if you want to limit how many rows. So for example, this is bringing back 21 rows. Otherwise, if you're ready to go, go ahead and click on import. Once it's done importing, it'll have a prompt asking you if you want to auto refresh here on the right hand side. And you can select on an hourly, daily or weekly basis. Otherwise, if you do not want to refresh, you can click on not right now. And you can always refresh from this refresh button on the top. You can always get back to this sidebar by clicking on open sidebar. And so over here, we can see those settings that we chose to bring in this data. All right, that's all it is to connect to Trello using the coefficient add-on. So hopefully you can see how easy this makes it to bring in data for your business. Make sure to check out the other many connections that we have in coefficient. Thanks, have a great day.